We're just in time for the build using demonstration and military drill demonstration. Cool, cool, cool. Your predecessor was here to do many, many things, but apparently tolerant and kind of atheists. Catholic French atheists is what happened. by platoons from the right, left wheel, march.
1774, as a result of the Boston Tea Party, the British government disbanded the Massachusetts colonial government and appointed a military governor. That governor moved the seat of government from Boston to Salem for about three months in the summer of 1774. Now, besides moving the courts and the customs and other official offices, moving the seat of government meant also moving some military presence to Salem. So a large contingent of soldiers was posted here that summer. These men are representative of the kinds of soldiers who were here in 1774. Now, there was no war going on at this time. These were peacetime soldiers sent to help enforce law and order in a rebellious colony. A lot of what they spent their time doing was training, practicing, handling their weapons and doing the kinds of movements that soldiers needed to do should a war arise. For safety reasons at that time and for safety reasons today, when we practice firing these weapons, we're gonna fire them out to sea rather than fire them toward the town. We will be using blank ammunition, but still, we fire toward the sea rather than firing toward the town. <laughs> Before the soldiers even thought about practicing firing the weapons, they have to learn how to handle them safely under any conditions. So the military used a manual of arms, which was simply a way to show, teach the soldiers how to hold these weapons at any time in any position so that when they have to do something in battle or on the march like climb over a stone wall they don't even have to think about how to hold on to the weapon properly they just do that by instinct so these soldiers will demonstrate just a few positions of the manual of arms and watch how they handle the weapon how they hold it in different positions rest your firearms audio firearms Rest your firearms. Shoulder your firearms. Trail your firearms. Shoulder your firearms. Fix your bayonets. The most effective way to use these weapons was to fire large numbers of them at the same time to cause disruption and disorder among an enemy's ranks and then charge at the enemy with the bayonets. Now, if done effectively, there's never a reason for a soldier to try to stab anyone with a bayonet because the time the soldiers get to their objective, their enemy is long gone. Nobody wants to face these things. Right about face. Dress. Charge your bayonets. <laughs> Shoulder your firelocks. Right about face. Unfix your bayonets. Shoulder your firelocks. Dry fire, dry fire. Prime and load. Each soldier has a leather ammunition pouch hanging at their hip. Inside of it are a number of paper cartridges. These are the same type of cartridges that were used by soldiers in the 1770s with these weapons. It's a roll of paper with a pre-measured amount of gunpowder in it. And as such, it's a blank round, just gunpowder. A live round would add a musket ball into the tube of paper. You'll see that the soldiers will open the cartridge use a small amount of the gunpowder to prime the weapon, 
and put the remainder of it down the muzzle to load the weapon. Make ready! Freeze it! Fire! Show your firelocks. Having gone through a practice with no ammunition, now they'll do it with ammunition. Okay, let me just Live fire. Live fire. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, so according to Park Service rules, this is going to be loud. So if you're sensitive to loud noise, please block your ears. Uh, if you have a hearing aid, turn it down. Right, man! Whoa! They're going to fire five rounds all together. That's one. Make ready. Freeze it. Fire. Fire. To the front. March. If we had more soldiers, you'd see several separate formations like this. One would fire and advance, the next would fire and advance, next fire and advance, and so on. So there's always some formation that's ready to fire while the others are moving. Similarly, one fires and retreats, another fires and retreats. Or they might fire and then change fronts to another direction in this very positional sort of warfare. Make ready! Counting here. How many was that? <laughs> Four. Make ready. Freeze it. Fire. Fire. Tank fires. Tank fires. Show your fire locks. Having fired the five rounds for training, they now go through a series of procedures to make sure that the weapons are properly cleared and that they're safe to take back to the Secure camp. Secure your firelocks. Very important to make sure that a weapon is unloaded when you're finished using it. Show your firelocks. Pack back your firelocks. Shut your pads. Take care of search. Ah. Uh, if you listen carefully, you're here, they're gonna to toss uh, a ramrod down the barrel of each gun. If the weapon's clean, you'll hear a ping of the steel of the rammer hitting the steel of the breech of the weapon. Return rammer! Right. Well, they've made certain that all the weapons are clean and safe. And this is just a very limited number of the things that the soldiers are trained to do. And they do this in battle and uh, other sorts of demonstrations all up and down the eastern seaboard throughout the year. If you have any questions about this, please 
stop. Some of the soldiers in camp asked them what's going on. Most of these people have to leave right after this, but we've had a great weekend here in Salem. We hope you've all enjoyed it as well. But again, ask people from the Park Service for more about the history. Ask the people you see still in camp about what they're doing. If you'd like to get involved, talk to the people who are already involved and find out how to do it yourselves. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Take care to advance by platoons from the right. We'll march. Right wheel, look. Step it out. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. May your journey enreach you. 22nd Regiment of Foot, as you can see by our buttons here, as well as the red and the buff facings on the coast. Oh. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed that demonstration. Thank, thank you. For